Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages! We've reached ourselves the hour, we've reached it no problem at all! And dodged the monsters to get to it! For there are seeds and the little kid has told us what to do! We're supposed to feed the owl some seeds, so we got the mystery seeds! What they do is a mystery! Try them on many things, open your seed satchel to use them! Right, so with that... Let's choose it on the owl, so we just simply press A, we get to choose exactly which one we want. Feed! Do not forget to feed me Mystery Seas. Right, we gave you one, and... And you just repeat yourself, so what are we doing? Right, I was hoping you'd do something like unlock a path or something, but it seems that nothing is happening. So maybe we got to use these seeds somewhere else. The main problem for me, in fact, is that... I simply haven't found what I kind of thought would be the treasure that this Queen Ambie wants, which personally I thought we might be getting the bombs or something. So that's not going that well. Ow, 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 ow. That was a nasty place to pull up the rock, wasn't it? Oh, hello, red guard person. Those are the mystery seeds Queen Ambie has been demanding. Oh, are they? Is that what she wanted all along? Nice work, kid. I'll take you to the palace. The palace? Okay. Well, that, that, that move was not bad, kid. You found them. Now come with me to meet Queen Ambie. Sure. Well, didn't we hear something about bombs being here? So maybe that, uh, maybe this is going to help me out quite a bit, really. Are you possessed as well, Queen Ambie? He says he wishes to pay tribute. He brings the mystery seas your majesty has been seeking. What have you brought before me? I like, I want them. They might be useful. Mystery seeds. Nehru desires mystery seeds more than anything else. Um, she will mo be most pleased. I've just helped the enemy somehow. By what name do you go, boy? Ollis, I offer a reward, Ollis. Bring it here. Please let it be what I think it is. Ollis, this is your reward. Take it with great thanks. We got 10 bombs, it is indeed. My palace is very large. You will not be able to find the way out alone. I shall guide you. Okay. Let's go, kid. I mean, I wanted to explore the palace, don't you understand? Will that boy be able to return? Yes, your majesty. Hmm. Hollis, ha! You've done well. First you let me through the barrier. Now you bring me mystery seas. Such a nice boy. Taking advantage of people's kindness is too easy. This makes one less thing that can obstruct my ambitions. But my, these mystery seas are unpleasant. Their sight and smell. <laughs> Anyhow. Queen Ambie. Now with my powers, the flow of time is yours to command. For you, I shall create a day that never ends. So the people will never sleep, and work on the tower can continue. And when the tower reaches the heavens, you shall go down in history as the greatest queen to ever live. Oh, I shall be known as a great queen, Nehru, Oracle of Ages. Give me an endless day, so the people can work without stopping to rest. Young and old alike will work toward my ends. Not possessed, but it seems a bit of evil lies within anyway. <laughs> we are closer to the age of shadow, but it's still premature. The true shadow will fall when the black tower reaches the heavens and I climb to its highest turret. Then it will come. <laughs> So it seems to be ferried right out. Nice work, kid. Ambi was most pleased. You may go now. Well, we have bombs anyway, so it wasn't that bad a visit, I guess. But yeah, where are we in the moment? We're up the steps, if I had to guess here. So not bad, not bad. And to be honest, between the episodes, I kind of realized something that I have here that maybe the postman wanted, because remembering the conversation that he said... He wanted something to tell the time with, and the Lighten's Hearts things might be 
well, let's put it this way, a kind of a misleading thing to say. Do you want the clock, sir? This isn't good! I want to deliver the mail on time, but I can't do it if I don't know the time! Show him the poke clock? Yes! Hmm? Tick tock? That tells time! Are you giving me this clock? Don't say a word! Of course you will! What a big help! Here's your award! Now I'm off to work! I'm a workaholic! Onward! To mail! He goes! You got stationery! Another love heart! So kind of like a love letter again! Who will you write to? Well, stationery, you say? I think this really is a trading sequence. And if it is... Then don't we need... A little bit of paper for you, sir? Hello! P paper! Do you have any paper? We do. Would you like the stationery, sir? Yay! Hmm. Take this. You traded... You traded a letter for a stink bag. Oh, it stinks. Take that. What are you doing? You just gave me, like, poo or something. Right, but again, if I remember conversations... Could we be just going on one massive chain? It's Pippin, yes, don't forget it. Okay, I was wondering if you wanted something as well here, sir. Like, something to, like, plant stuff a bit better. But no, it seems like manure to me. That's for sure, but isn't. Considering you're a gardener, I thought you would be highly interested. Now, I've dug out your land. Aren't you better now? Right, so we've got ourselves a sting. Oh, we can get bombs in the things as well. Nice. Now, what to do with that? Maybe we can rub the dog's face in it so it can't be shy. I don't know. Maple! Do I actually have to bump into you in a more natural fashion? You show up more than I thought. But either way, we have our bombs and maybe we can... Why are you in that corner now? Did you find what Ambi desires? It's not there. I can tell you that, and we're not going that way either. Right, we have the bombs either way. We can blow whatever we want up, and I'm going to do just that. Right, even Mr. Sir is not here anymore, so that's interesting. Right, I guess he gave up along the way. I wonder where to use the stink then. Uh, no, I just want to place it. I don't want to pick it up and hold it. As we enter level 2, the winged dungeon. Right, so we seem to have got underway with the trading sequence, but maybe not everything was... Oh man, should we... Hmm. I'm just thinking, maybe we should go and see if that tree has any more mystery seed. Oh! Blow up the jars at the very least. That was not clever. I thought I'd already changed. Mystery seeds somewhere? I definitely picked up something then. Right, I picked up more mystery seeds. Good. Right, they can be found in jars. What do you say, sir? Good defense is the best offense against spikes. Uh, thank you for telling me. I don't think walking over it with my shield is going to work, though. But either way, we'll see what he means, I'm sure. I guess he actually literally means for us to just use our shield in a room like this. Oh, maybe! Ah! Stand ground! And then attack the weak points! Fair dues, guys. Beat you down. No problem. Thank you for the clue, Mr. Owl, sir. And that might have taken me a little bit of a while to figure out how to get through if it wasn't for you. Right, so we need to light that over there and push us in. Okay, there's a blue and a red. And we need to get red. So with that said, can't we move it around this way? Oh, that will still get... Oh, no, the red blocks are red blocks. Right, so we can't do that. Now, that is wrong. We need to be able to move it around and get it to be on the... Oh, well, now I've, now I've messed this up, haven't I? Right, leave the room and start again. That is what we should do. So to get it on the red seems a little bit harder than I would have thought. Maybe if we push it out here and then just kind of like barrel it round a little bit, so like down, okay that's not gonna work. 
Right, so now it's out here. We've got it on red, so it'll be red, red, red. So, if... Oh, we can't do that no matter what. My... Oh, no, my plan is a feasible one. We move it like this, then we've got it. That was what I was intending to do, but because the block was there, I couldn't get it to work. Really, all I had to do was swing it around. There's probably an easier way to do that as well, i got to say. Right, if I push this one up and this one right, we're through. I don't think we had to go to the left. There's a lot of snakes down there, though. But I don't think I'll go the snake way. I don't think I'll go that way at all. Stop picking the bomb up! Just drop it. It's safer that way. Right, bat, out my way. You really are getting out of my way, actually. I don't mean it sometimes. It means die, not dodge me. Can you understand the difference between the two out the way, sir? Right, oh, the snake managed to get up. Oh, 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 not gonna miss those rupees out. Ow, it manages to go upstairs as well. Ow, they charge me. I don't like them at any close range. Right, we need to get ourselves some more hearts, but in the meantime, let's just keep continuing along the beaten track. Literally. Or maybe not. Okay, uh, dodged. Not bad. Ow, 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 This could be really bad. This could be really bad. Okay, we're just going through here. Don't mind me. Losing HP left, right, and center. That's my job. And getting hurt even more is not the cleverest idea, me. Oh, wow. I'm getting beaten up quite badly. Just over those last few seconds. Right. Wow, I got hit again. Right. So we're going to need to really play defensive. Ugh, that was too defensive. Alright, so follow you through. I'm suspicious of certain surfaces, but are we going to fill ourselves with rumor snakes in a minute? Hearts! Hearts! Rupees to disappear. No snakes, which I guess could be considered a blessing in some circles right now, but it seems we're heading back to the starting room, are we not? With the health warning noise to beep away and tell me how bad I was in those rooms. Okay, oh, um, yes. Oh! I think I managed to deflect that with my sword. Right, I didn't get hurt that badly there, but I'm not doing that well. With that in mind, however, we've already got the key. If we go out the dungeon, we're not going to... Oh, okay, we can still get items from the jars. Please give me a heart. Wow, okay. Our luck is not that brilliant. And we are filled with rooms of enemies. But if we take it a little bit carefully, we might oh yes, good, we got through this. Right, we are no longer in the danger zone, but we're still not healthy in any way, shape, or form. But we'll take what we can get on certain things like that. Uh, uh, uh. Please me, don't go holding that, because that would be silly. Right, so we've got the dungeon map, we've got the compass, so we can check out kind of what's going on. We got ourselves a two-floor dungeon as well. Anything up in this corner, don't fall down a hole, because that would be a very big waste of health at the moment. And don't you spear me, guys! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! My danger came from being unable to use the sword there, but we've got through that. We need ourselves some HP! Well, at least we can aim downwards. Is there a bottomless pit? No, okay. With that in mind, um, bat, come down here. Heart, please. You! Either come down and face me, or run away. Seems you're doing that option. Uh, rupees, which we're not going to get, obviously. So we've got ourselves a little bit of a jumping puzzle. Except without being able to jump, it's more of a falling one. We can make it through either way. Uh, okay, we got what looks to be a thwomp type character. And a billion bats. Come down here, and let me slash you before anything bad happens. Right, okay, you going under me was not good. Alright, we got one of them. Yes, we definitely- Oh! 
As I said, we definitely don't always want to be hit by you, but we did something even worse. We hit him. Ah, oh, I was hoping for a heart. Man, we are on low HP. I do not want to die. This shall not be my fate. We'll make it into this. Oh, we have snakes galore! Heart, right, we're no longer in the danger noise zone, but... Yes, you could hear from my voice then the amount of panic that that just brang, and we've got to go back through that way. Which is not good. Well, it seems like there's no more... Oh. <laughs> okay, at least you dropped me a heart. Come down here, sir. I'm going through. Whether you like it or not. This is a painful experience for me. The bats, they may come from any angle right now. Alright, we got ourselves a rupee and another rupee. So, not very good on the health restorative front. And to know in my luck, snakes? No. Good. Right. We're making it. We're still alive. My panicking is over a little... Oh. Good, I got the angle on him before anything bad could happen. So it seems we're picking up a ton of bombs. I'm glad we went through that way because we wouldn't have the key otherwise. Alright, I do not want to get hit by a bat whatsoever right now. That would be useless health to lose. Alright, so one more bat in here. Will that... Will defeating them all open the doors? Or will it simply be a case of get on the minecart and ride and open the door that way? Let's just do it. Open! Good. Oh, still won't give me a tax hour. Oh, hi, thanks. Right, we're looking a little bit better. A happier Sam can take the front again and let not concentrating imperil me. Which is always so worried about everything. It's like, ah, padding to- uh oh. Stop speaking too soon. One with no wings is no match for me. Uh-oh. Alright, so we need to find a way to hit you above. Okay, you slammed down, and... I question what you did to the floor, but it looks like it spiked up. But we still got the strike right. Right, so as long as we take this runaway type pattern, the problem is that, of course, he has to come down to attack, so the whole without wings thing is completely useless. But we definitely got some licks in there, didn't he? He kind of bounced a bit on me. But all the same, we'll take you out, sir. Oh, fairy. And so the health problems... They go away, they dissipate, they're gone! Wonderful happy times! But still, more dungeon remains. Skulls all around, I'm worried about them to be honest. And those things that we do not have magic powder to really get the best out of if you can do that in this game anyway. Right, so mini boss defeated, warp set up. We're looking a lot better for all our troubles and trials. Still wondering what all these skulls are for and what's the point in this room otherwise? I can just walk over them. There doesn't seem to be anything in this room! With that said, check the map. What? A room with nothing in? We can't hit them at all after all. Ooh, ah, uh. Sorry, I have to experiment with this, guys. We may not have the magic powder. I was just wondering that. If the mystery seeds provide the same effect, but it doesn't seem so. So, down here looks like a bust. Up top looks a little bit better. And there is a block which needs a key. Oh, I'm going to hate these rooms with these things if I can't magic power them away. Magic power them in into non-existence. Felt so good, do you know what I mean? Oh, ow! I should have got that the shield or something, pulled it out. In fact, that might not be a bad idea for this entire area if you look at the structure of it. To be honest, if I chucked a bomb in the middle, though, we might get kind of lucky. 
Either that, or we can just go past. There is also another option. Pacifism is a way. Right, so either there is some kind of chest to get here, or we just simply... <gasps> yes, I, I thought there was crumply floor, but... If I stand on it too long, is that the problem? We've got ourselves the mystery seed with a blue wing soar over the coloured heights. Can I just push it? Oh no, I can't even push it really fast. Right, so I'm guessing we might need a dungeon item to be able to push that at this point in time. Which means that we're on another search in here. Where can we go? What can we do? We'll find out next episode, guys, on Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Join me then for more. Bye-bye.